Hello friends, uh, in this video we will see uh, some of the system settings which can be made by a normal user. So we can go to system, we can go to preferences, we can check about me. So there will be some information about the user. He can add the address, his personal info, every information here. He can change the password from here. Uh, we'll see that later. He can change the password, click on this and add a new password. He has to uh, put the current password and authenticate first and then he can change the new pa uh, change his password to a new password. So currently I will close this. So then we can go to appearance, we can change the appearance of the screen, you can see, we can change the appearance completely. Uh, so I would prefer a blue here, a glossy look. So there are a lot of options available, uh, high contrast, large icons. And Ubuntu default style, this is a human, you are a human clear look, you can go for this. So I would always uh, go for a blue color. Okay, so again, we have a background, we can change the background. Okay, so once you click on the background, it automatically gets apl applied. You can say, you can change the background, you can see here. Okay. We can add some files from the folders. Okay, uh, we'll have more. Uh, usually, we'll have some documents, some examples. See backgrounds. We have some backgrounds here. You can open this and say you can apply it here. So these are the default uh, uh, pictures which come from Ubuntu. You can see you can change this. You can add more. So this way we can. Uh, Add more uh, pictures here. So I'd go for this. You can remove if you don't want. You can remove from the list. So it will not be delete from the computer. It just removed from the list. Okay. You can have a background solid colors. Currently we are using complete screen. If you have something like centered, and put this on a centered. So if you have a small image, then you need this solid color. So similar to the uh, Windows desktop background. So we'll have this one and I'll close. Uh, before closing, we'll see fonts. So you can change the fonts of, uh, for example, if I change the Windows of, uh, title, this is the appearance pre appearance preferences. You can see here, this is the Windows title. If I want to change the title, I can go for a different size, 16, and say, okay, you can see here the appearance preferences changed. So I don't want this. I just uh, revert it to 10. So this way we can change a lot of settings. Interface, you can have some icons if you want text below icons or text beside icons. It's on the screen. Uh, this will be visible when you have a, uh, I'll open a home folder. You can see this better. Now you can see, uh, here we have icons. If we say text beside icons, you can see this. Icons only and text only. You can see here, it's changing here. So I would prefer this one, text below items. We can also change the visual effects. Uh, the visual effects are not going to be applied here. So once you change this to extra, so it gives you a floating window kind of look. If you move this window this way, it floats. Actually, it vibrates. So you can use this if you have a very good, uh, you, even if you don't have a graphics card, but your uh, Intel motherboard or any motherboard which has a default motherboard, uh, which which will definitely support this. So uh, my computer, uh, I'm running it on a virtual machine, so it does not support a very good graphics card. So you change this and if you use a uh, windows button in the keyboard and use a tab key, the windows will be like uh, flying or you can say uh, if you have seen the windows arrow look in the windows vista and windows 7, it is almost similar to the windows arrow look. So you can use uh, the extra options and give more a graphical animation look to your windows. So I close this right now. I close this window again. So we can go to assistive technologies. We have some assistive technologies, preferred applications, keyboard accessibility. You can change the key, how the uh, keyboards uh, should behave, keys should behave, accessibility, login. So there, you need a password for this, administrative password for this. Uh, we'll close this. This is not much important for us right now. So we'll go to preferences. You can connect Bluetooth devices. Okay, you can uh, say never display an icon, always display. Currently there are no Bluetooth icon uh, adapter here. So whenever we have a Bluetooth adapter, you can connect it to the devices or other computers. We have a default printer. So currently there are no default printer configured. 
encryption and key rings, keyboards, uh, main menu, mouse. You can do some small settings here, network configuration. You can make network configuration. Currently, we have auto ETH, ETH0. Here's the Ethernet. You can have wireless, add a wireless network card to here. So, currently, we don't have this uh, network card in the computer, so we cannot assign any. Uh, we, we don't see any card here. If we have a wireless card, it will be visible here. We have a wired card here. We have a mobile. If you want to connect any mobile broadband, for example, if you have an eVideo card or a Tata Photon Plus, you can use this to connect your Tata Photon Plus. So there's one more way of command line. Uh, uh, one more way how we can connect the eVideo devices or uh, 3G devices to the Linux. We'll see that later. We have VPN connection. We can make a DSL connection. If you have a DSL internet, you can use DC DSL internet. Can configure it. So we have a Palm. You can connect Palm OS devices. You can network proxy, power management. So if you want to give some power, power management, you can use this. If you are using it on a laptop, it would be uh, very useful to do power management. So we have softwares. Okay, before going to administrative, we we'll see preferences. So we can have some preferred application, remote desktop. You can uh, see the screen resolution and screen saver. You see a lot of screen savers are available 3D. So very beautiful screen savers are available with the uh, uh, Ubuntu, floating Ubuntu. You can see Flux. So. So these are really nice. Uh, I like this uh, screen savers very much. You can see Helios. So a lot of uh, screen savers are there. You can put uh, if the system is idle for 10 minutes, you can activate the screen savers. You can uh, activate for two minutes. So whatever you want, you can log the screen. Once the screen saver is active, then you need to use the password to log in again. You can go to power management and change the power management settings. Currently, I'll close this. I'll I will not use any of them. I'll use a blank screen or a, I'll, I'll use a blank screen. I'll say okay. I'll just give a long time. I don't want. A, I'll give two hours. If it's two hours idle, uh, then the screen saver should be on the screen. It should appear. So in preferences, we have something called a sound. Which would be useful for you. Uh, you can change the sound settings here. Sound playback, sounds, effects. What are the so? What are the what sounds should be appearing here in the uh, computer when the computer is switched on, when the buttons are clicked? Everything you can configure it here. Uh, there's some uh, uh, sound schemes. Currently, there's only Ubuntu, so you can save a new one. Friends, in this video, we saw some uh, simple settings which a normal user can make. I will see more videos uh, on more settings. Thank you for watching this video.